Hello everyone, how you doing? Today we have a review of Coffee Talk 2. This review was written by the lovely Katie Pajamas. Please go follow her on Twitter with the link in the description. These are her words, not mine. Truly peaceful games are few and far between. There's so much action packed into almost every title released these days that sometimes you just need a break. You want to kick your feet up, put on some lo-fi and have a cup of tea or coffee and just let the day melt away. If that's the kind of experience you're looking for from a game, you'll find all of that and more in Coffee Talk Episode 2, Hibiscus and Butterfly. Or just Coffee Talk 2 as I'm going to refer to it from now on because we don't have all day. The direct sequel to its equally chill predecessor simply called Coffee Talk, this entry from developer Toad Productions has been highly anticipated by those familiar with the series ever since its original announcement. The game is available digitally on PlayStation, Xbox and Game Pass, PC and Switch which is where I played it. There is also a physical release later this year for the summer on PlayStation and Switch. The combination of relaxing music while you're simultaneously making lattes and conversation is one of my favourite visual novel memories from the past several years and I was really hoping that the second game would live up to that same level of exciting, mysterious and even magical gameplay. The world of Coffee Talk 2 is the same as the first for those that have played where the world consists of a society integrated with not only humans but also vampires, banshees and all other matter of magical creatures from every fantasy book you can imagine. They work and live in regular society but do also unfortunately face discrimination and in some cases potential arrest and capture. The story plays out through the game's 15 in-game days and what happens varies depending on if you serve your customer what they ask for as well as if you hand them over the correct items that you can gather through normal play. This being the case, the overall plot isn't easy to nail down because it's so different depending on your drink serving choices. Speaking of the drinks, they can be made using several different bases. There's coffee, tea, chocolate, green tea, milk, and the two new additions to this game, blue pea and hibiscus. You can combine these bases with a variety of other mix-ins to create different drinks and if the drink contains milk, you may even have the chance to add latte art to your drink. I found this to be the hardest part of the game as my latte art always looked like someone made it in the midst of an earthquake, so basically it looked really bad. During your days spent at Coffee Talk, you will also meet several new characters as well as reconnect with some you should be familiar with from the first entry. There's even a few small easter eggs and a few references to a completely different game series in the form of two character cameos. To help you keep track of all the different scenes and endings that you can obtain, there's an in-game achievement system that will assist you in guiding you towards the random things that you can do and pick up while playing. Besides all of that, there's not too much to talk about in the way of gameplay as the structure every day is exactly the same. People will show up, you'll have a conversation with them, they'll ask for a drink, you make the drink, and then the story will progress depending on if it's what they ask for or not. This formula also determines which ending you'll receive as each character has up to three different endings you can achieve by either giving them all the correct drinks during each visit, getting some of them right, or flat out getting them all wrong and ruining their experience. And in one case, causing them to just stop appearing in the story completely. It's this simple formula that makes the game so good. It's easy, expected, and it feels like you're in a conversation with familiar old friends, making the game smooth and relaxing. Sometimes a little too relaxing as the combination of easy conversation with the world's most chill soundtrack made me feel incredibly drowsy. But that's not a complaint, so much as a testament to how well this game does the easy coffee shop vibes. Speaking of the game's soundtrack, Andrew Jeremy is the producer of the music for both Coffee Talk entries so far and this is a soundtrack I could talk about for hours about how well it fulfills exactly what it's trying to do. The music is beautiful easily repetitious and endlessly delightful. I don't know how he nailed it so well but he did without doubt. I often put the soundtrack from the first game on, and now the second, in the background as I'm working since it offers such a perfect ambience to focus. Even the pixel art of the game boasts it's stylistically beautiful and timeless. The animations are gorgeous and I don't think they could have done it better. From a visual and auditory standpoint, the game nails that aspects completely. 
It's hard to find much to dislike about this game. If I did have a complaint, it would be that I wish there was more to the individual character stories. As you progress, you'll notice that there are several storylines between multiple characters that are going on at the same time. The best endings for each character all felt as if they resolved to varying levels of what felt complete. One or two of them felt to be a bit rushed and less warm than the first game and almost closed out without too much explanation. I appreciate and understood what happened in the endings in question, but I felt like there was potential for a lot more to be done with those stories, especially considering the long-running relationship between both games we've had with all these characters. Outside of that and some longer low times on the Switch, there's nothing bad to be said about this game. It's obvious how much love was put into making this and how much was done to make it the best experience it could possibly be. And for the most part, they ultimately succeeded. Overall, no other words describe Coffee Talk Episode 2 better than cozy. It exudes all that you could want from a kickback visual novel, and it seems the perfect way to finish out a long day. I feel like this is the kind of game you experience late at night when it's raining and you have a warm chai tea latte next to you to sip along as you read about the problems from an alternative magical being filled universe. And even with its slight lack of perfected and gripping story elements, I can't deny that this, paired with the first game, make me feel like Coffee Talk is one of the best done indie VN series that we've seen for a long time. It feels like a true masterpiece, unlike the latte art that I created while playing it. A 9 out of 10. Many thanks to Katie for writing this review. Go follow her on Twitter with the links in the description. If you want to purchase this game, especially physically, please check the links in the description as well. If you purchase it, it also helps support VM Paradise and it also helps me like, you know, pay the writers better. Okay? Yes, please go check out some of our other stuff. We got a lot of VN content for you.